Local tents, what do we have? Quite uh, nice, very great condition. Penny and Giles transducer, and it is uh, actually an accelerometer, single axis accelerometer, made us free to plus six G's. Serial number, uh, five digit serial number, quite a huge one. We have this information here on the end. And here, just uh, six pins connector. And Allen screws. So the good news, they are not uh, Imperial Allen, they are metric. And uh, I will need to undo them, but they are not tight because I did already have a look inside but this thing. So, one more time, I use a special uh, screw tray. It is actually a, a storage cover for uh, regular uh, round uh, aircraft instruments. Two inch diameter, I guess, maybe. It is a little bit broken, so I cannot use it on the side, but it always makes a nice screw tray, and you always need screw trays. So, this thing is actually a really simple inside. Because if you want to make an accelerometer, you need to detect inertia. And for this, you use little weights. So, excuse me. Oh. One more screw. It will help, I guess, if I undo it. This one was actually a factory cell. Okay, so the cover has nothing special, seems to be probably silver coated brass, I guess, with an aluminium piece uh, welded here. So, about the contents, here is what we have. So, two weights here. Articulated on this uh, pieces with uh, return springs, you can see. And they will move here just the potentiometer. Nothing terribly complicated here. A lot of brass. Very nice. Cable lacing here. But uh, it looks like we have something else because I can see a shaft here that is going in here. And I do only have three uh, wires here, but I have six pins on the connectors. So let's try to undo it further. I see six screws here, three screws, excuse me, let's try to undo them, let's see if it will reveal anything else, This one is actually quite hard to turn. Okay, oops. Oh, this is a nice design, guys, because look at this. If you uh, 
Primo Vescruz, you lose the washers. Uh, they are probably important for the uh, offset or something like this. Very interesting. But it will be fun to put back to the river, I guess. Okay, what do we have in here? Oh. Okay, because actually three of the pins of the connector are not used. You can see the back side of it and how it is mounted on this uh, piece. Here we can see two uh, ball bearings at the end of the shaft here and actually other ball bearing here, okay? And we have this thing mm. that it is actually magnetic We have a magnet here in the middle we have this uh, ring around and when it is properly mounted there will be a gap just wide enough for this piece which is just an aluminium uh, cylinder so probably it will use eddy current to dampen the movement some kind of an uh, dampener Interesting. I was not expecting this because now, yes, now the parts are a lot more uh, loose, and uh, you can see the movement is a lot really different. Interesting. So I will try to reassemble it on camera because it looks like it will be. The pain. There is the hole here for the wire, and uh, yes, it is correct. This, then this, because I need to insert the screws, and at the same time, uh, reinstall the washers. So, ah, uh, maybe if I do like this. It will not be too difficult. Yes, so we are now in a reinstalled uh, status. And you can see it will react uh, differently. It is a, lost, uh, a lot more uh, smooth in the, in the movement. Okay, so two washers for each screw. Try to reinstall this and add it in a nice condition because it is a nice device uh, like this. Clearly, oh, it is not too bad. I was expecting more problems. If I can start with screws without losing the washers. Okay, since we are good, this one, this must be cross-threaded, okay. So, really, when you take apart a lot of this stuff, you know it is delicate, but you end up with some uh, screw knowledge of uh, what could happen and how to proceed to reassemble. And what can possibly go wrong? Okay, so it was not too difficult. But speaking about something that can go wrong, I believe the thread here is uh, not good anymore. And one thing you have to be uh, careful here with such a device uh, this uh, tiny flex uh, link in uh, brass or something like this 
and of course the wipers here ok so little uh, device you know what it looks like this was supposed to go here ok so I will do it another time but you get the idea uh, thanks for watching do not forget to share uh, subscribe and uh, like and watch my 1200 other videos bye bye